So when you see a butterfly, you see as it flaps its wings, one side absolutely matches with the other side and you see that there is a line in between. So one part is the mirror image of the other part. Well, that's called the line of symmetry. Line of symmetry is something if you fold it, the other part looks exactly the same. The mirror image. So a butterfly has one line of symmetry. Let's play the symmetry game and uh, let's see how we do. So we have a square. How many lines of symmetry does a square have? How many lines, how many ways can we fold this? One, two. We can fold it in two ways. That's what common sense says. I can fold a square in two ways. Mm, how does it fold? One, two, three, four. Well, the common sense is wrong. Okay. Let's see whether I can get the next one. Okay, this is a pentagon. So we can fold it in this way, one. Then I can fold it in this way, two, three. We can fold it in three, three ways. So let's see. Bad luck. So one, two, three. Oh, four. There are four, five. Five ways to fold this. I think I shouldn't play this game. It's embarrassing. Okay, great job. Let's move on to the next one. I have to make sure I get every one of them. Okay, if this is an equilateral triangle, we can fold it in this way. One, two, three. I'm sure this is three. So this is line of symmetry is three. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is a parallelogram. So if, if I fold it in this way, it won't match. I don't think we can fold a parallelogram at all. I think I'll write zero here. A parallelogram has no lines of symmetry. That's fantastic. Okay, now this is some sort of a trapezium shape. We can fold it only in one way here in the middle. I don't think if you have a handkerchief like that, I don't think we can fold it in any other way. So one, let's see. Great job. Okay. Now what is this? This is also a parallelogram. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's a rhombus a parallelogram where all the sides are equal. So it should have no line of symmetry. Or does it? I don't want to be, uh, let's see, there's no, I cannot fold it in this way, I cannot fold it in this way. Maybe I can fold it in this way, yes. And this way, there could be two, let's see. It's a good idea to make a mistake. Oh, not a mistake, great. Because if it, it was a mistake, they would have shown the folding. Okay, so we can so, uh, fold it in two ways. So this is one way and this is the other way. So this is, a. I guess, we can fold a rhombus. Okay, this is a six, seven, eight octagon. How many ways can we fold? I, I don't think I'll be able to do this. This is a bit more, this getting too complicated. Okay, uh, one, then two, three, four. We can fold it in four way. Okay, if we fold it uh, in the middle, then if we fold it around the vertex, uh, vertex, so four, five, then we have six, seven, eight. Okay, maybe eight. Let's take a chance. Great job. Okay, so we can fold it in eight ways. So eight lines of symmetry. The next shape. Okay, this is a hexagon. So we can fold it. Let's fold it in the vertex first. So one, two, three. We can fold it in three ways in the vertex. And if we fold it in the middle, then we can do one, two, Three, three and three, six. We can fold a hexagon, regular hexagon, six ways. Great job. Let's move on. Okay, uh, this is a rectangle. We can fold a rectangle here. One, two. We can fold it on the corner because this corner comes here. So I think one, two, should it be? It should be two. Okay. Next one, this is a... If this is an isosceles triangle, we can fold it only once because... Uh, the height bisects these two sides, but if it's an equilateral triangle, I'm not sure. I'm going to go with one. If it's an isosceles, it looks like an isosceles triangle. Great job. Okay. Okay, my final score is 90 out of 100. That's not bad. Now let's see some uh, shape fact. Okay, we have a triangle. How many ways can we fold it? One, two, three. If it's an equilateral triangle. Then hexagon, how many ways we can fold it? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a 
pretty cool gadget. Now, if you have a parallelogram, we cannot fold it. Okay, we cannot fold the parallelogram. Uh, this is an isosceles triangle. We can fold it only in one way. Okay. Then octagon. Octagon is rather difficult because we cannot. Octagon is the shape of the stop sign that we see. Of course, it's red. So we can fold it in uh, eight ways. Okay. So it's a. Mm, if you think about the vertex here and also in the middle, then you can think of the folding. Okay. Pentagon. How many ways? One. Then two, three through the middle, and okay, so there are five ways. Then we have rectangle, we can fold it in two ways, two lines of symmetry. Okay, a rhombus. I, I thought a rhombus would be like a parallel, we cannot fold it, but we actually can fold it. Why are they cheating here? No, we can actually fold it. Then we have a trapezium, we can fold it once, and square, I think square one, two. And also the diagonal, I got this wrong. I this is the one I got wrong. Rotational symmetry is the number of times a shape would fit on itself as you rotate it by 360 degree. For example, this one, one, two, three. So as we rotate it by 360 degree, it fits on itself three times. So order of rotational symmetry is three. That's it. The next one. So it is rotating and it hadn't fit on itself at all. So order of rotational symmetry zero, none. Next one. This should also be zero. It, I don't think it's going to fit. Oh, it fits once. Oh, that's okay. So one or oh, two it fits twice. Let me see this again. It's not one, two. Oh, it fits twice. The next one, if we rotate this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it fits six times as we rotate it by 360 degrees. So it has six. Okay, this one, one, two, three, four, five. So the order of rotation is five. So when it is rotated by 360 degree, it fits on itself five times. Let's do one final one. So one, two, three, four. So there is none, zero. It doesn't at all. So let's do this one also. This is many times, quite a number of times. Any regular polygon has the same number of rotational symmetry as it has number of sides. So this has five sides. So that means it has rotational symmetry of order 5. So let me see this again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it fits on itself 7 times as you rotate by 360 degree. The letter Y is rotated 180 degree. Does it look the same? No. If you rotate it 90 degree, it's here. 180 degree is like this. Uh, no, it's no. A square only needs to turn a quarter of a turn to end up in the same position. A full turn is 360 degree. Quarter means one fourth. 360 divided by four is 90 degree. So if you rotate by 90 degree, so how many degrees are in a quarter? So it's 90 degree. If a shape needs to be rotated by 180 degree to be the same way around as the starting position, then the shape has order of uh, rotational symmetry two. So which Letters have order of rotational symmetry 2. 1, 2, this one, and this one. If you rotate it by 90 degree and 180 degree, it has same. Okay, the letter T is rotated about the center of the letter. How many degrees do you need to rotate it before it is the same way around? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 360 degree. The letter N is rotated about the center of the letter. How many degrees do you need to rotate it before it's the same way around? If you rotate it by 90 degree, it goes like this, looks like Z. And if you rotate it again by 90 degree, so 180 degree.